No Pets Allowed by E.A. E. Cummings? E.A. Cummings? Who is it? M.A. Cummings? M.A. Words are hard. I struggle. Names are hard, really, is what it is. Um, so yeah, we're going to talk about that. It's a really, really, really short story. Premise is, this guy's dumb as a stump. <laughs> And he is given by the elders of his community um, a job that's very menial because they haven't had crime to guard the sacred treasure or whatever. And while he's guarding it one day, he finds a creature of some kind or whatever. You don't know what the creature is until like towards the end of the story. And it's growing and he's feeding it and he kind of keeps it nearby with him so he has company because this is a really boring job. And then one day one of the elders comes like, hey, give me the key. Give me the key to this treasure. And he's like, no, you guys mandated me not to give you the key. And he's like, well, give it to me anyway. And he's like, but they'll, there are more of them than you. They'll be mad. And so the guy's like, you fool. I put you in this job so I could steal the treasure for myself. And then like the guy lunges at him to get the key and then rolls through the bushes and gets eaten by this giant fly trap plant thing this carnivorous plant that the guy had been keeping um so it's very short it's kind of you know a little playful fun silly quick read um mm -hmm. sort of a fantasy slash sci-fi element i had a hard time figuring out if it was actually sci-fi or fantasy because there's not a lot of world building or any further descriptions other than this kind of tribal collective mentality mm -hmm. So I couldn't tell if it's like on an alien world or in a fictitious world of some kind. But it's one of those where you can make it what you want. Yeah, it, it's vague enough that you can build your own world to it if you'd like. Mm -hmm. But I'll be honest, this one kind of bored me a little bit. I found really? it ridiculous. Yeah, I found it a little predictable. Um, I have a hard time with stories that I find predictable because I kind of figured when he started alluding to this, you know, it was actually the guy who told the council to put him in charge that was trying to steal the treasure. I kind of had that feeling right away when I read this, that that guy's up to something. Especially when they took the uh, time to mention that there hasn't been crime in so long. You knew a crime was going to try and happen, yeah. if not successfully happen. So after that, I just kind of recognized what was going to happen, and it was such a short, short story. The foreshadowing was too obvious to me. Yeah, but I think the foreshadowing, you know if something's gonna happen, and you just you keep reading and you know it's coming you know it's coming you know it's coming mm -hmm. for me the ending was a bit unexpected i wasn't expecting a plant that's true i wasn't expecting a plant i was expecting some kind of like dragon thing or whatever i thought it was gonna be a woman a woman <laughs> because this society was all men and and there was something up with the women i thought it was gonna be a woman that comes oh. and kills I really did, and I, then it turned out to be a plant, and I thought, oh, wow. Yeah, <laughs> That's not what I was expecting. Yeah, I didn't expect a plant. I thought it would be, like, some kind of dragon or, like, a ravenous dog creature <laughs> thing. I was not expecting it to be some kind of plant. Right. Um, so that was a little unexpected for me, mm -hmm. but I knew the guy was going to get eaten by whatever it was because it was yeah. alluded to enough, but not enough that it was really an integral part of the story. Mm-hmm. And I mean, the story is ridiculously short, so... It is. It's, it's it kind of like a Twilight Zone episode. Yeah, it has to move fast. And you don't have a lot of details, but it was... it was. I can't say it wasn't an entertaining read. It was. Mm -hmm. But it was one of those things where, you know, was my life enriched by it or changed? No. <laughs> no, but it was entertaining. It, it was, was a diversion. It was a cute, quick, fun, little read to just kind of read midday when I wanted just a little quick story to mm -hmm. get me through. And especially since it's free on um, Project, Gutenberg. Project Gutenberg, so yeah, no commitment. Yeah, and this one, do you remember the publication it was in originally? It was a science it fiction. It was a science fiction magazine in the 50s. I forget the name of, of which one it was. Okay. But the author has only written four or five stories, according to the Internet Science Fiction Database. Um, so kind of came and went and wrote a handful of stories and, and didn't leave a huge mark and that's probably why this is in the public domain and, and that's good for us because we can just go out there and read it and not yeah. have to pay anything yeah and it's kind of nice too because there's a part of me that just recognizes those authors as people who did that as a labor of love 
Yeah. They were hobby writers. Right. And I think there's so much to appreciate about a hobby writer because there's some really solid talent in there. Like, it's mm -hmm. the story was not badly written. It was just short, and I found it predictable. Some people won't. So it's one of those things where it's nice to see someone who's using this as a labor of love and then choosing to share it with people. Yeah. Well, especially a woman science fiction writer. Back then, you can count on one hand the number of, of women that really succeeded as science fiction writers, mm -hmm. and the rest of them are all totally obscure. And, and a lot of them wrote some great, great stories, like Carol M. Schwiller or Margaret St. Clair. Great, great writers. And, and here's one that's even less known than they are, doing something that's, well, okay, maybe not a classic, maybe it's not great, but it's still It's fun. still a fun read. And yeah. I think for kids, too, it's so kid-appropriate. Yeah. Like, I mean, who has, what kid hasn't read a story about someone getting eaten? <laughs> We've all know Little Red Riding Hood. Yeah, that's I, not, I that's violence that's, we're uh, used to. Hansel and Gretel, too. Yeah. And... yeah, seriously. So, I mean, it's, it's not, yes, it has violence, but it's not so violent that a child couldn't read this. Right. Or it couldn't be told to them. Or you couldn't put a humorous twist on it if you read it to a kid, kind of thing. Yeah. So I mean, it's it is still very entertaining. It was it was pretty well done for how short and quick it had to be. Because mm -hmm. you never know, like if they somebody said, "Hey, can you write a story that's X amount of pages to fill in, you know, this part of the book?" Because we didn't get enough submissions or whatever. Some uh, editorials will do that. Right. So you don't know the circumstances it was written in either. Mm -hmm. All you know is that it's short. It's fun it made it into the periodical, so mm -hmm. it's worth something. Yeah. So yeah, it's a good one. I kind of yeah. liked it. But, again, predictable. <laughs> I wasn't wowed by it. That's really what it was. Mm -hmm. I guess I kind of like expect, I maybe I have too high expectations, I don't know. I actually liked it better than the Cuckoo Clock. Though. Did you? Yeah. <sighs> I, I read them back to back and I thought this one was, in, for me, this one was better. Okay. <laughs> See, I was the opposite. I thought Cuckoo Clock was better than this one. But they're both... Interesting. It, it, yeah, it is funny how the perspective is so different just between the two of us. But mm -hmm. yeah, both were really short works and very quick reads. Yep. But yeah, both were very entertaining, this mm -hmm. one included. So, anything else? That's all I got. All right, all I have too. Thanks for listening, watching, have a quick read. It's like, it'll take 20 minutes of your life if you're a really slow reader. I promise. So yeah, go ahead, read it, tell us what you think, tell us if you know any others by this particular writer, and uh, let us know what you thought. Like, subscribe, and